Some of you might consider this to be bottom of the barrel news. I'm here to tell you, I don't give a fuck because this shit right here is hilarious. It is such a memeable situation that I have to talk about it. And also, it's almost April Fool, so why not have a little bit of fun? So today's story concerns Tekken 8, the latest in the long-standing fighting series that has absolutely peaked with Tekken 8. It's such a good fighting game. I played it back during this preview event where I actually got to meet the creative director, Harada-san, who, by the way, is relevant in today's video and story. After I got to play it in the final version, uh, yeah, uh, both times I was like, I, this feels like peak Tekken, and now I can very confidently say Tekken 8 is, in fact, peak Tekken. It looks the best Tekken's ever looked, and also, I mean, the gameplay is just so refined now, and uh, they've added so many cool, new, fun elements, and all of the characters, the roster, uh, everything is just shining bright, and I think there's a bright future ahead for Tekken 8. And of course, over the long term, they're going to keep adding new characters and new maps. Speaking of maps, there are some requested maps, some that you might not expect, but when you think about it, kind of makes sense, even though it is unlikely that it'll ever happen. So whenever Harada posts stuff on Twitter, he will discover that there are people who will respond with requests that he include Waffle House as a stage in Tekken 8. It is both a meme that people are like, it's probably never going to happen, but also people are also pushing for it enough where they're like, maybe we'll get like a Waffle House-esque stage. That'd be freaking hilarious if that happened. So let's just keep putting this in front of him. And Harada eventually uh, caught wind of this uh, spreading meme and actually decided to respond to it with the most sincere response that he could have put out there, um, just completely unaware that this is in part a meme. And so this is what he had to say. Okay, I will only ask once about this request. Why do some communities send me requests for Waffle House? Please be sure to explain the basis for the request, including the original story, history, and background. I look forward to an explanation from someone who knows more. I love how reasonable this response is, like sincerely reasonable, where he's like, okay, folks, let us sit down and discuss this like proper gentlemen and human beings. Please do relay, make your argument as to why this Waffle House should be included in my game Tekken. Please do include as much information in regards to story, history, and background about this Waffle House as possible. I look forward to having an amicable discourse about the potential inclusion of this Waffle House you keep recommending. The fact that Harada's on the creative director of Tekken 8 is kind of willing to hear people out in regards to this ridiculous request has garnered this tweet over 100,000 likes and 10.5 million views in a matter of hours, and it's made headlines, and it's just, it's the best thing ever. It's one of the best things I've ever seen. And of course, the meme's already rampant. Here we have Gene Park and the responses retweeting this photo from Wooly Versus that he posted in front of Waffle House where he frames him and somebody else in this very fighting game uh, kind of situation. I believe this was intended for Street Fighter, and somebody, of course, decided to take this meme further and add the appropriate bars that would be associated with fighting games, but it is very much relevant for Tekken as well. People are requesting that Waffle House be added in some kind of fighting game. And then there are those who are very prim and properly explaining to Harada-san why there is this request for Waffle House to be included in Tekken 8 and what the history behind Waffle House and its meme status is. So looking down here, we have somebody with over 12,000 likes saying Waffle House is a U.S. chain restaurant that culturally is heavily associated with brawling because the employees are trained to defend themselves because the clientele are inexplicably predisposed to fighting each other or the staff. Some of you may recall that sometime back, there's this clip that went viral at a restaurant Restaurant where somebody threw a chair at this lady and she just brushed it off, like countered it, parried it like it was nothing. This was at a Waffle House. Now, I myself have dined at a Waffle House back when I was living in Delaware. I've only been to a Waffle House like twice in my life, and both times it was indeed late at night during a drunken stupor after some kind of party where we were just starving for some kind of sustenance. And uh, fortunately for me, I never got to witness this level of violence, but I've heard from those who frequent Waffle House more tell legendary tales about some of the occurrences that they've witnessed at this establishment. It is why memes like this exist where you have Vegeta walking into Waffle House saying, so this is where worthy opponents are. But now people are taking Harada's request for an amicable discussion and discourse about Waffle House 
Seriously, where they're like responding to him with essentially an essay that highlights exactly what Waffle House is, what it's known for, and why this meme is so relevant in the case of Tekken, where seeing, you know, say, a Kazama and a Mishima uh, walk into Waffle House, maybe looking to hash things out before things get ugly, before discussions turn sour, and then they brawl it out in front of a Waffle House outside at the parking lot, like how much that would make sense, how funny that would be, how ridiculous that'd be, and yet how on brand it would be with Waffle House. Here's somebody hilariously posting, Waffle House is where the strongest gather to fight at 2 a.m. It's where the true King of Iron Fist tournament takes place. And we have somebody who edited this uh, epic clip with uh, a Perry animation, <laughs> just the internet, man. And here's the best part. After all of that, after people coming into Harada's tweet and responding with memes and explanations, harada actually responded to people with a very proper thank you for the explanation, guys. And I understand that many people are requesting it. However, I think you're missing one important point. The restaurant has both the trademark and the rights to the restaurant. So if the restaurant chain's headquarters refuses to accept my proposal, it will not happen. Well, A, what you're insinuating is a proposal has not been issued yet. So why not reach out to Waffle House and see if you guys can work something out? And B, if you cannot make a proposal that they're willing to accept, why not change the brand name a little bit? Why not call it Waffle Home or something in that vein and have something Waffle House-esque that people will go, I know exactly what that's referencing. This is definitely just a legally distinct Waffle House. And it seems as I'm not the only one who has that mindset here. We have somebody saying, change the name of the restaurant, but have the same concept. We'll understand the reference as well. As long as it references Waffle House, people will be happy. Just change the name to the Pancake House and call it a day. As long as the building looks the same, people will be happy. Just have that very stale uh, kind of cubicle look to it with a yellow hat top and call it whatever you want. Just make sure you reference breakfast and some kind of home-like noun and you're set. That's all you need to do. And this meme will spread and your game will sell a more billion copies. I guarantee you, harada on please make this happen. But also, it's a meme, so I would not be surprised if harada san ultimately decided to not go with this. But this meme has gone just viral enough where harada san might be considering some options. Anyway, this is one of the stupidest stories that I've covered, but it filled my heart with so much joy to see the internet come together like this to push forward a meme that then harada san acknowledged in the most innocent and like reasonable way possible where he was like very like okay let's actually talk about this let's let's actually have a conversation and let me explain to you guys why this likely will not work uh, but also send me all of the information you can so i can have full knowledge on what the situation is it, it's just one of the most golden things that has ever happened in the history of games and one of the best interactions that I've seen between a uh, games or a game series community and its game director, uh, 10 out of 10. This is one of those S tier memes that deserves to go as viral as this did. And uh, we'll see what the future holds for Tekken 8 and the potential of a Waffle House-esque map or stage being included as a fighting arena where only the strongest will fight between 2 and 3 a.m. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the story. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are about the potential of Waffle House being included in Tech and 8. Do you think it's possible for Waffle House or something in that vein to be included as a stage in the game? And would you like to see that happen? And uh, what do you think the odds are of something like this happening? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time with more important, relevant news, maybe. Maybe. Young out.